I have lived in Seattle since 1993, and I have come to Seattle Art Museum's film programs for uh, two decades. It exposes me to things that I would never see before, especially with the documentaries. It's nice to have a downtown venue where you can go see a classic film properly projected and just have a nice evening. It's my favorite feature of this museum is the film program. Hello, I'm Greg Olson. I run the Seattle Art Museum Film Program. I began doing that in 1971, and I've been the sole curator of the program over that time. We've won awards. We are the longest running film program in the Northwest. Those years have been spent presenting series on directors, actors and actresses, various film genres like film noir, for which we're so famous experimental films, documentaries, and we've also had the great pleasure of hosting film world luminaries like David Lynch, Werner Herzog, Andy Warhol, Michael Powell, the great British director, and his wife, Thelma Schoonmaker, who is Martin Scorsese's Oscar-winning film editor. We've also presented a number of community-generated festivals like Twin Peaks, Jewish, Asian American, Iranian, Polish, the list goes on. We have great pleasure in doing it, but we've come upon a problem, which is that we're a 35 millimeter theater in a digital world. By that I mean that the studios no longer put out prints on 35 millimeter film. The commercial theaters, almost all of them, have no capability of running film at all. To continue the film series, digital is an absolute must. It's really not exaggerating to say that there are probably over a hundred series that I've done over 40 decades that I could not do today. There are certain film noir series that I did three years ago that I couldn't do next year because the prints have gone by the wayside. This theater is known for celluloid. It's known for film and it always will be. We'll keep showing 35 here and there from film archives, etc. but in order to present the breadth of material that we want to to the community. We really need to get a digital cinema system. It costs $70,000, and I would really appreciate it if you would consider making a charitable donation to our cause. It would help keep the Seattle Art Museum Film Program alive and vital into the future. Seattle Art Museum's film program is a jewel of the city, and if you want great programming downtown Seattle, you must support this. Please take my advice. If you want the Seattle Art Museum film programs to continue, you must have a digital projector. And I really hope that you will all chip in quickly and help Greg Olson get it for your museum. I have a, a term for it. I refer to it as filmanthropy. We need to feather the nest for the future. For the education, for the kids, for the entertainment, for the adults, um, and just to keep something like this that's got such a great history in Seattle. So thank you so much.